safe cyberspace for everyone. Internet safety is a growing concern in today's connected world, and there are a great many dangers that people could encounter on the web. The best way to prevent you or someone you love from being victimized is to know the facts so that you can understand how to recognize these hazards and how to avoid them. Some dangers are illegal, some are just offensive, and others speak to the state of the Internet itself. To be safe on the Internet, always follow good Internet safety practices. Now, let's look into some basic safety tips to have safe surfing online. Don't share your personal information online, such as home address, phone number, user ID and passwords, bank credit cards, bank checks, location check-in, photos, private content to public access. Protecting your personal information can help reduce your risk of identity theft. There are four main ways to do it. Know who you share information with, store and dispose of your personal information securely, especially your social security number. Ask questions before deciding to share your personal information, and maintain appropriate security on your computers and other electronic devices. Passwords, especially those not supported by two-step verification are your last lines of defense against prying eyes. Follow below steps to keep your passwords locked down. Use complex passwords. Use password manager. Use multi-factor authentication. Create account only on legitimate sites. Log off on sites after usage. Social media and email security. Social networking has changed the way we interact with friends and associates. While social networks, like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Foursquare, and Google+, play a significant role in our lives, they are also a high risk for security threats. With hundreds of millions of users online, these tools not only attract friends and family wanting to stay in touch, but they also attract people wanting to know about you for the wrong reasons. Be aware of the following security tips to help you stay safe online. Make your profiles private. Review and approve your tagged posts. Use gender-neutral pseudonyms on forums. Don't post something inappropriate and regret later. Never give personal information to someone you met online. Be alert when meeting in person with someone you met online. Don't open emails or files from unknown people. Access safe sites and networks by following below good practices. Use private Wi-Fi networks. Shop online on encrypted sites. Clear your browsing history. Use antivirus extension on browsers. Use firewall to protect your home network. Keep your computer software up to date. Use smartphone securely by following below good practices. Enable encryptions on your phone. Set Bluetooth to non-discoverable. Get apps from verified stores. Enable three layers of smartphone security. As Info World notes, all smartphones have three basic elements of security. Your first major task as a mobile user is to become aware of these layers and enable them in your devices. Device protection, allowing remote data wiping if your device is ever lost or stolen. Data protection, preventing corporate data from being transferred to personal apps running on the same device or personal network. App Management Security, protecting your in-app information from becoming compromised. Thanks for watching.